carrier and it's about to explode. The estimated time for destruction is two hours. You are the last survivor. It seems your system update has failed while in hibernation. I will give you a walkthrough on your movements. Point your right hand to the circle light. Hello everybody, in this video I want to take a look at an escape room game called Evo Escape Space. Now, uh, well, I, I don't play a lot of uh, escape games, but when I play them, I do enjoy them a lot. Now, one thing to note about the escape room games, if you're new to it, and even if you haven't played a lot of them, which I haven't, and I forgot, everything is self-contained. This means that you don't need, like, have some knowledge about something in order to be able uh, to solve uh, those puzzles. It won't ask you like trivia questions and you knowledge to solve them. Everything, all the hints are actually inside the game itself. And I actually got to a situation when I thought this is the case, but I'm just telling you ahead of time, if you're having trouble, spend more time in the game. If the hints are there, you just need to find them. So when you start a game, you're going to have your glove and uh, uh, basically this glove enables you, once you charge it with certain element, to actually have a slow down time option which is useful for certain elements which is going to find out as you play we can also grab elements uh different objects from far away and uh, some of them we just we track back to a certain position once you stop using them the other thing that i really like is that it has checkpoints basically again if you reach a set of a certain puzzle it will save it so the next time you come in you won't need to start from the beginning and i have to admit the puzzles were well <laughs> puzzling <laughs> i can say uh, i tried to solve different things in certain ways uh not everything worked of course uh but this the puzzles are very smart and if, this is very important for me when it comes to escape room games i want a challenge but i want something that is you know kind of fair another thing to note about this game is that there's no free movement basically there are teleport uh teleportation placement specific one that you can actually teleport in the room so again it's very convenient game uh in that aspect now the game is available both on pc vr on steam or on the uh, oculus store or side quest you can play them uh you know which one which platform you prefer best uh, it looks really good on the i play this on the quest 3. Uh, i really like by the way the relatively clean uh look of the game because again the emphasis here is to observe and try to find things that stand out and use them as a hint or you know some kind of interactive uh, elements that you can interact with in order to solve puzzles otherwise is if, if it's too um, noisy it's kind of impaired their experience to some degree now the game is two decks uh first need to move from the first solve the first deck and then move to the second one the first one is the more complicated more complex one compared to the second one which is much shorter uh, the devs are planning to add more section by the way to the game and also keep in mind the game is still in app lab so it's still in development now in terms of time they took me to solve it i think around three hours and 30 minutes uh more or less uh so again the game felt challenging fair and in terms of the amount of content that they have there it's pretty good content and they're uh, planning to add more so i'm fine with actually what i experienced so far now if you ask me what would be like a fuller game probably at least two more decks that are kind of similar to the first one this is why they feel kind of a more uh uh, something close to a more complete game uh, but again the more the merrier there are some issues that i had uh, in the second deck but i couldn't really grab uh, some of the objects there i need to put my hands above it uh, this was a bit annoying but again i mentioned this developer and hopefully they will fix it um, hopefully very soon now to be honest i really enjoy having a free movement uh, in escape room games to explore my way through uh, I feel more in control, I have better sense of presence when I have this uh, compared to teleportation, but it's actually designed well and most of the time again all the things you need to do are basically kind of against the wall and you can actually grab things for far, so it's not like it's ruined anything, but hey maybe having the option to do that, to have that would be a nice thing for those like me who really enjoy kind of exploring manually uh, with free movement in VR. Now, I really like when there's a simplistic design and the devs just, you know, kind of uh, uh, play around with your mind and putting some, uh, you know, mind-bending puzzles that you can really stir at a certain location and say, wait, I checked everything. 
I checked everything. Maybe it's bugged. Maybe it's the... What have I missed? But you always miss something. And that's the cool thing about this game. And of course, uh, escape games in general. Now, I don't really want to show you more content here. Basically, I'm trying to, again, not to spoil anything. So I drop some of the things that give you a big hint. Uh, nonetheless, the puzzles are very smart. Some of them I really, really like. So unique and original that, well, I can't say anything. I just can tell you that some of them I really like. That I spent like, I don't know, like 20 minutes looking at something. But then, you know, I need to have a different point of view of things in order to solve it. That's all I can say. So again, as of the time making this video, you get around three and a half, about four hours of uh, uh, content, which is more, again, the time is spent more on trying to solve things, right? It's not like you have many levels and stuff, uh, but you're going to spend a lot of time trying to figure things out. Again, something to keep in mind. Now, considering the fact that I really enjoyed the puzzles that I had so far, I am looking forward to the ones that will uh, be included in, in the following updates, because again, they are very, very well made. So if you're looking for puzzles that don't really feel cheap and uh, ones that are pretty fair yet challenging and what it will actually make you feel good that you actually solve them, this is the escape room game for you. So overall, highly recommended. Again, one of the mo most annoyances for me was trying to get these balls that you actually see here, the, the those planets, which I need to put my hands above it in order to grab it. It wasn't uh, uh, that uh, comfortable and hopefully this will be addressed pretty quickly by the developers. But definitely recommend this game and that's about it for this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below i see you very soon on the next review thanks for watching get a game enjoy